Difference of opinion between uh, NDSU and former U.S. Senator Byron Dorgan. While one claims the school's Center for Nanoscale Science and Engineering is closed, the other says that's not the case. Valley News Team's Cornelius Hawker tries to sort it out. Closing the Center for Nanoscale Science and Engineering, they say it was an evolution. It, it's not an evolution. Clearly, it's a you know it, it's something that uh, is a, a, a mistake and lost opportunity for North Dakota State University. Since he is not technically closed, so I'm not quite sure what your question is. I don't believe that Vice President Rush said that it was closed. She said that funding had gone away, that funding had decreased, but the core activities are still being funded by NDSU. Provost Beth Ingram says those core functions include the clean room, all the equipment, researchers, and still using it for classes. She says losing government funding back in 2010 is why they started laying off employees, ultimately shifting the employees left to different positions within the university. NDSU received almost $10 million in state grant funding for Cincy. Ingram says researchers are funded by soft money, which means most of their salaries are funded from research grants, which have to be won to keep that position afloat. However, Senator Dorgan isn't convinced losing government funding is a good enough reason to explain going from more than 120 employees in 2009 to 30 in 2015. Apparently, there are people there who felt this was not an important part of uh, North Dakota State University. And uh, you know, decided that this was not something that they were going to continue. I'm not saying that I disagree with what Senator Dorgan said. What I'm saying is that I inherited, when I came here, a very successful research, research enterprise due to a lot of the funding that came into NDSU due to earmarks. Cornelius Hawker, Valley News Live. We did talk to one of the researchers who works at the Tech Park who told us that he has a job until the end of the school year but isn't sure about any of his colleagues.